A quick trip to East Hampton could soon get a lot longer for people who can afford it. The ritzy town wants to ban summer helicopter traffic five days a week. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff tells us why. In snow-covered East Hampton, change is in store for summer. The town's a buzz about a proposed ban on helicopter traffic on summer weekends. Those people will find another way to get here. The good of uh, more people is more important than the the good of just a few. Choppers will be banned in and out of the airport from Thursday till Monday. Noisy planes like private jets and seaplanes limited to one trip per week. It answers decades of noise complaints from year-round residents that the flurry of flights by the summer jet set shatters the rural peace and quiet. It's like being in a war zone. It's, it's very much like apocalypse now. The town supervisor says chopper traffic doubled last summer. I think the town board's reached a point where they feel they have a responsibility to provide some relief. It's, it's going to be a disaster for many local businesses. This aviation company owner calls the ban drastic. The 45-minute chopper trip from Manhattan shuttles well-heeled patrons local businesses count on. People buy and rent houses for a lot of money out here, not so that they can sit on the, on the highway for five hours to get here. East Hampton took over the airport last month. The FAA previously had jurisdiction. Opponents are now suing the FAA and the town over the flight ban. Town leaders say they won't be intimidated. Town officials say this isn't a class struggle, and they're certainly not rolling up the welcome mat for the rich and famous. They just want them to figure out a different way of getting here. In East Hampton, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. 25,000 chopper flights went in and out of East Hampton Airport last summer. A public hearing on the ban is now scheduled for March 5th.